steaks, and so on. So, you know, as, as was pointed out, uh, it's America's favorite topping. Uh, we're going to have to find some replacements of what to put on that product. Well, let me just get to the cost issue before we move on to ways of hacking the system. Phil, do you expect to this manufacturer's attempt to recoup for the rising cost of the ingredients? Absolutely. Every food is going to get more expensive. The more we start to see it. The factories have to be reconfigured. They're going to become more robotic. They're going to have less people. All that takes a lot of money. They're not having all their employees show up for work. Their, their employees are afraid to come to work. That's one part of the equation. The other part of the equation is that there's a driver shortage in this country, so we're not able to transport refrigerated or frozen products to the stores. So right across the supply chain, we're going to have to see price increases. Phil, thanks very much for your good work. Good luck. When we come back, the guide on how to pick the healthiest, tastiest frozen pizza, and a hack for you when you can't find frozen pizza in the store. So you guys, this is what I've been on, posting on my um, my YouTube channel and I, I posted a lot <laughs> because I want people to understand like it's really serious it's really serious now today is Monday March the 22nd and here we have Dr. Oz talking about food shortages here in this country and Dr. Oz he doesn't usually talk about these things of course he talks about eating healthier and things we could do uh, to heal our body naturally and uh, things we could do to avoid you know catching the virus you know other aspects of, of health. He doesn't talk about food shortages, but this is how serious it is. So I recommend that you guys go out there and stock up on as much food as you possibly can because it's only getting wor worse. And uh, you heard uh, the reasons why there's so many food shortages. So, you know, I wanted to share that with you guys. So I know a lot of times people say us preppers, we like, we always try to iterate on a negative, but no, not really. You know, this stuff is really serious and we're trying to bring awareness to people in the masses because like, you know, if you don't prepare now for today, then tomorrow, your tomorrow going to be looking very gloomy. Okay, you guys, um, if you like the content, give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel and yeah, until next time, zanherald.com.